Congratulations to the College of Eastern Idaho graduating class of 2020. We are all very proud of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. You've made it. Liz Onifer here, English and Communications instructor. Just wanted to say what a great achievement. I have so much respect for every single one of you and all the hard work and commitment and sacrifices you've made to get here. Congratulations and wishing you all wellness and prosperity in your journey ahead. Hello, fellow Falcons. I'm Jacob Haberly, chair and an instructor in English and Communications. And I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank you for allowing me to play a small role in your educational journey. Good luck in the future. Hi, this is Ken Kisner, the Social Science Department Chair. I just want to congratulate our 2020 graduates. Well done. You did it in the most difficult of circumstances, and we're so proud of you. You've accomplished something wonderful and great, and we wish you the best in the future. Thank you. Hey, Spring 2020 CEI graduates, congratulations. This has been a tough year for everybody, but you've done it and you should be rewarded for it and go out and enjoy and be strong. Class of 2020, you are the champions. Leslie Dernberg, and I'm here to bring greetings from the Business and Technology Division at the College of Eastern Idaho. I am so proud of all of our 2020 graduates, and I consider myself to be really privileged to have had the opportunity to work with you as students and with your instructors this year. Congratulations to our graduates in business management, legal studies and paralegal training, information technology services, cybersecurity, web and application development, and radiation safety. Thank you for being part of the Falcon family. Keep in touch. Hi students, just wanted to say congratulations to all of you. What a memorable way to end up your education. And I'm sure you're looking forward to many adventures in the future and I wish you all the luck in the world. Congratulations. Welcome, Falcon community. My name is Mike Walker, Dean of Student Affairs. I'm going to give you an update on our graduation celebration, what the agenda will look like, so that you can be prepared to tune in as long as you want. And we know that means you're going to stay hours afterwards. Today, we'll have our hosts talk. Uh, we'll share some wise words for you. And then we'll have a speech from our president, College of Eastern Idaho President Rick Amon, as well as some sp speeches from Governor Brad Little and Vice President Lori Barber. But let's get to this thing. Welcome, Falcon family, to our virtual graduation celebration for CEI Class of 2020. <laughs> again, my name is Mike Walker. I always like to introduce myself. My name, again, is Mike Walker. Again, Mike Walker, the Dean of Student Affairs at College of Eastern Idaho. Also joining me as a co-host is our student body president, Evan Williams. Hi, Evan. Hi, Mike. He was just not socially distanced there, so I don't appreciate that. That's okay. Um, <laughs> oh, exactly. And our final host, co-host for this event is my COVID isolation beard, Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> he has taken on a life of his own, so thank you for joining us, Abe. But in all seriousness, his actual name is Bristles. I would like to remind the campus community that President Rick Amon gave me wide latitude for this celebration. And knowing me, he wisely said the only parameters that I should keep are it should be somewhere between the, li the, the lines of uh, dignified and raucous. So I apologize in advance. <laughs> yeah, it is sad. So I'm apologizing in advance for doing just that and for how amazing this experience will be. COVID-19 has had a huge impact on how we live, learn, believe, behave, shave, grow hair, study, graduate, teach, and lounge in pajamas, and maybe how we excessively drink. 
And while I won't disclose whether or not I'm wearing hashtag upper clothes, as they have come to be called, I will disclose several items that we are grateful for from our amazing College of Eastern Idaho community. First, I'd like to share some of the activities that we're doing or have done for our students for graduation. On Tuesday of this week, our healthcare division continued a time-honored and yet socially distanced tradition and held their nursing pinning activity at the drive-in in Rexburg. I have a few photos of that experience that I'd like to show. So here you can see some of the folks at the nursing pinning. And here are some of our graduates arriving at the drive-in in Rexburg. Don't they look great? What an accomplishment. Here are some of our administrators and some of our graduates. In this final photo, we have our president, Rick Amen, and his wife, uh, Linda Amen, and our dean of uh, career technical education, Clint Redding, as well as some of our administrators and faculty. We're so thankful for what they've done. Also this next week, we will start the field of graduated Falcons, graduating Falcons in Hyde Park, beginning on May 17th on the corner of Hit Road and 17th Street. There will be signs of the graduates with their degrees so they can come and on their own time, socially distanced, and also take a picture in the field. Um, this is an example on the screen of what that looks like. And we are so honored and, and grateful to be able to have this opportunity. We will also be broadcasting the names of our graduates on the marquee digital signs from May 18th to May 22nd to provide another opportunity to recognize our graduates. And graduates, what a crazy ride and whirlwind you have gone through and endured and are continuing to go through. You've spent several semesters of hard work for it to end like this, with a goofy dean and leftover little Caesar's pizza stuck in his overgrown beard, bristles, oh. offering condolences of some kind and congratulations. But seriously, let's honor the many hours of work in our CTE and general education programs. You've, in, you've endured many variety of assessments, tests, essays, clinicals, projects, presentations, demonstrations, competitions, speeches, learning activities, lectures, and probably a lot of references to Tiger King and COVID-19. <laughs> You've learned subjects like business management, energy systems, machine tool technology, biology, English, healthcare, history, automotive technology, and so many more, either through social distancing or emergency online learning. In fact, most of you have taken math online when it wasn't even offered that way when you registered last December. And let's be honest, uh, everyone likes math, right? Just bankers. Just bankers, people make us money. financial advisors, yeah. people that make us money. <laughs> Yay for money. <laughs> Personally, COVID-19 has ruined so much. The online learning most of you saw wasn't what online learning would normally be. But kudos to our amazing faculty for throwing it together with a week's notice and making the best possible outcome for such a short timeline. And kudos to you, graduates and students. I know it has been hard. This wasn't online learning. This was emergency learning. I would like to tell some student stories briefly. First, a student like many of you is Heather Haroldson. She is graduating from the medical assisting program. She's worked so hard to graduate and is a single parent. She works and also worked full time as much as she could during this isolation time frame. COVID hit and really challenged the students like her who needed lab time to practice clinical skills and so forth. Luckily, students were able to come back on campus to complete near the end of the semester, allowing her to graduate and get ready for her externship. In addition to all of this, she's been helping her, stu her students, her, I'm sorry, not her students, her kids, transition to being able to complete their own schooling at home, being a stay-at-home teacher all of a sudden, like many of you and even many of our faculty and staff had to do. We've had students on, on ventilators and hospitalized. One student, M Maureen Coffin, was struggling with health concerns and came out with a perfect grade point average on a ventilator for weeks. We've had students working actively as nurses and healthcare professionals, exposing and risking their own lives and their families so they could help us all in Eastern Idaho. Whatever your struggles, we are thankful for your efforts. Graduates, please remember you will be successful. You have made it through this and so you can make it through anything. And to our wonderful faculty and staff, staff you have informed and helped. You have adapted while dealing with your own serious concerns. Thank you. Thank you for caring. Thank you for the phone calls, the emails, the student support, and the accommodations. Thank you for the kindness. Evan Williams, our student body president, has some words from the students and graduates to thank the faculty. 
Thanks, Mike. We, um, as students, um, wanted to make sure that we took a moment to give a huge shout out to our faculty and staff. Um, we, as students, had to endure changing assignments, um, hours of self-learning, um, hours of sitting behind a computer and trying to figure everything out. Um, but our, our faculty and staff, they went above and beyond anything we could have possibly imagined to trying to help us. Um, not only did they do that while having their own kids to teach at home, um, but they went out of their way to make sure that we were okay. Um, we as students received individual phone calls from faculty and staff uh, to ensure that we were doing okay, uh, not just with our homework, but overall as students. Um, I think this is the most important thing that we could possibly imagine was, uh, would be our, our faculty and staff and their involvement during this whole COVID crisis. Um, from the student body, uh, and with a sincere, sincere, heartfelt thank you. Thank you so much uh, for everything that you did for us uh, to ensure our safety, um, to ensure that we made it through the semester. Some of us are really kind of wondering how we did that, but we did. And so a huge thank you uh, for all those hours spent um, on top of worrying about your own things at home. Um, that's much love. Thank you, Evan. One last student recognition. Cade Sirusek is working on a project to organize a relief, relief for COVID-19 for local homeless shelters here in Idaho Falls. Later on in the comments, I will include his contact information so he can reach out and have enough supplies to purchase untampered medical grade stocks of sanitizing wipes, three-ply three face masks, nitrile powder-free exam gloves, and emergency cleanup kits. So please look in the comments later, and we will also share this on Monday in our Facebook Live. With, for what Cade Sirisek is trying to do for homeless students. I'm sorry, not for students, for homeless shelters. Um, I'd also now like to introduce our president, Rick Amen. Rick Amen's speech is a very important one, and we are so thankful that Rick has been able to be our president for these last several years at, here at College of Eastern Idaho. Class of 2020, good evening. Let me welcome each of you to our virtual graduation recognition tonight. I'm Rick Amon, president of the College of Eastern Idaho. On behalf of Chairman Park Price of our CEI trustees and Chairwoman Chrissy Staten from the College of Eastern Idaho Foundation, congratulations. Additionally, best wishes from our Eastern Idaho state legislators and regional mayors, in particular, Mayor Coletti of Ammon and Mayor Casper from Idaho Falls. From your faculty and staff of CEI, we wish to acknowledge these wonderful accomplishments for you tonight. Whether you're being awarded degrees for completing an Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, Associate of Applied Science, or a GED, we are proud of you all. Each of these degrees will open opportunities not available to you prior to tonight. Many of you are non-traditional students, your parents, veterans, recent high school graduates. This is a recognition of achievement that is even more significant given the last six weeks of COVID. Every good commencement address consists of three fundamental elements. First of all, the speaker is inspiring. The speaker restates the obvious and the speech is short. Tonight, I'm going to be capable of providing two. So let me begin by restating the obvious. Education changes lives. I recall my college graduation years ago in Oregon. My interest was teaching, but my passion was flying airplanes. I earned a bachelor's degree because it was a requirement to be commissioned into the Air Force as a second lieutenant in a pilot training slot. Fast forward through pilot training and several flying assignments, I actually became an instructor pilot and achieved both my interest and passion. I love flying and I uh, love teaching. The point, my life changed as a result of education in my, in, in my baccalaureate degree. The degree qualified me for several opportunities and provided the prospect to pursue passions and interest. I continued my educational journey as a first-generation, non-traditional student working uh, while attending school at night and on weekends. 
I earned an associate's degree from an Oregon community college, a master's in business, and a PhD in community college leadership from Oregon State. Education has always been important to our family. My wife, Linda, and I have two sons, both with their bachelor's degree and uh, one actually with a master's. Given this graduation tonight, I'm reminded that our youngest son, Joshua, graduated with a bachelor's degree at the same commencement that I received my PhD. Recognition is a big deal. Education has changed our family's life. Tonight, we will virtually award your degrees. Technically, the formal acknowledgement is that we will confer your degrees. In a few minutes, you will change. You may or may not feel different, but in fact, you will change. Graduation is an outward expression of an inward change. You have w wisely chosen College of Eastern Idaho. You are smarter, uh, you're better citizens, you have practical skills, you can think critically, your writing has improved, your communication has developed, and your personal interactions have improved. Education has changed you, and it's changed you for the better. You are benefiting from a college created just for you. As a new college, your faculty were all handpicked, both for their expertise in their fields of study and also their commitment to teaching and learning. You had no classes in 100-seat in auditoriums and with teaching assistants. Every faculty expected you to demonstrate competency in classes. You've been taught and mentored by some of the best professionals possible. If you think about it, CEI, the, about it, CEI gradu, you graduated from a very small and carefully crafted college where your programs were designed to meet state standards. You were taught with one-on-one -on -one attention by some of the best faculty in their fields and with the least expensive tuition in the state. Our faculty are proud of you. As Albert Einstein has said, education is what remains after one has forgotten everything he has learned in school. The degree that you have earned will open doors that in the past have been closed. You have proven that you can follow through and accomplish something important, not because it's easy, but because it's hard and worthwhile. One of the side benefits as a non-traditional student is to those around you. You are role models to your kids, to your spouse, to your parents, to your friends and colleagues. You've been, you uh, have been guided along your educational path. You've been supported by parents who are proud of you. You've been mentored by our faculty. You have relatives and friends who have supported you. Now that you are a graduate, you need to consider being a mentor to someone else. You need to pay your education forward. Education changes lives regardless of your economic status or, your back, or, or the background of individuals. You will soon be virtually conferred with degrees that provide you with rights, privileges, and obligations. We all know that you can't enter the workforce with, without skills beyond a high school and be successful. You can be examples to those around you and uh, show this achievement can be done. You can encourage others in educational pursuits. You are a model of someone whose future is bright and, uh, the oppor and have an opportunity of accomplishment. Let me congratulate you on a well-earned degree and remind you, and uh, for many, that this is just the, the beginning of your educational journey. And on that happy note, uh, I wish you more opportunities than you can imagine. The challenge to be a mentor to at least one person this year. Let me welcome you as graduates, colleagues, and advocates for education. Next, we've got the privilege of having some remarks from Governor Brad Little. He's, uh, he has offered to congratulate the class of 2020, and this is a wonderful recognition. Let me, uh, let me introduce Governor Brad Little and his video remarks. Hi, I'm Governor Brad Little. To all the graduates, congratulations on arriving at this moment, a moment of celebration. 
a moment that offers relief and perhaps some trepidation of what's to come. We are certainly celebrating your achievements differently this year. As you go through life, there will be months and years that seem to fly by without notice. But the year 2020 is different. The year 2020 will be a defining year in all our lives because of coronavirus. This global pandemic has brought about much hardship for many people across the world, but it also has brought out the best in people too. I hope the stories of inspiration and determination during this troubling time remain with you as time goes on. My number one goal is to make Idaho the place where our children and grandchildren choose to stay and for the ones who have left to choose to return. You are my target audience. With this rite of passage, you have a passport to go anywhere. If you choose to stay, excellent. If you choose to go elsewhere, remember Idaho. We would love to have you return. There are four traits that all successful people in my life have learned. Hard work, choose wisely, keep learning, and work well with others. The fact that you're here today means you already possess these life skills and no one can take them from you. Continue to sharpen your ability to use them. To the families of our graduates, thank you for providing the support, financial and otherwise, to help these graduates arrive at this moment. The rest of us will benefit from your investment. God bless and congratulations again on a job well done. Evan Williams is our CEI student, uh, student body president. I'd like to offer him the opportunity to make some comments. Falcons, congratulations. This is a momentous occasion. Um, we gather together electronically, I guess, <laughs> to go over this uh, experience that you uh, are now finishing. Um, I'm trying to think about what best to say to everyone. Um, you're the graduates, I'm not. I'm still stuck here another semester, which it's with Mike and everybody else, so I can't complain. Um, but ultimately, you guys are the ones moving on. Um, some of us are really sad to see each of you leave because you're fellow classmates. We pass you in the halls, we get to hang out together, we study together, um, lots of different things, right? Um, you guys will be going on to bigger and way, way better things now. This is that stepping moment, um, that moment where you've now gained a certificate, um, a certificate to advance your career, advance yourself. Um, the opportunity now is opened up for you to transfer to, a, uh, to finish up your, uh, let's just throw out uh, BSN, your nursing degree, um, your bachelor degrees. Um, that's, a, that's a huge stepping stone. Um, all of that done here at CEI. Um, for some of us, it could be our first step, our second step, our third step. Who knows where each of us are at, but we've accomplished one more thing uh, that takes us closer to being something better. Um, and every, every minute that we, that we spend with that degree is, like Rick said, um, it changes us, it makes us better. Um, we as individuals get to move on and help others with that, with that knowledge and with that uh, finally earned piece of paper. Um, what do we as students have to endure, right? Let's, let's just go over that, right, Mike? I think that's important. Students have to endure, well, chapters of reading that go on and on and on and, on. and never end. Um, late nights, early mornings. I don't know how about you guys, but I, I hit that snooze button <laughs> repeatedly. Um, exhaustion right? Um, anxiety. Oh, the anxiety. And it mounts every single day until finals are done and over with and final grades are posted. Um, quizzes. <laughs> every day a new quiz. Um, tests every single week. Every single day. <laughs> new testing center issues, right? Um, lots of tears. Sobbing. Some of us sob, right? At the end of a week after we've taken like two or three tests, a lot of quizzes, read a whole bunch of chapters, there's, there's tears, right? But that all brought us to this point, to graduation. And 
students that are graduating right now, way to go. Um, what a remarkable feat. Um, to each of you that are moving on, the best of luck and best wishes to you. You'll always have friends here at CEI that are, that are rooting for you and hoping that you do your very best in your uh, future endeavors. Finally, as we conclude this ceremony, uh, Lori Barber is our Vice President of Academic and Student Affairs. Given her position, she has the privilege to formally confer these well-earned degrees. So let me introduce Lori Barber. Thank you, President Amon. I'm so happy to be here with you tonight. And now I will confer the awards to our graduates. Upon the certification of the College of Eastern of Idaho faculty, the following degrees, certificates, and credentials are awarded. Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, Associate of Applied Science, the Advanced Technical Certificate, the Intermediate Technical Certificate, Basic Technical Certificate, and the General Education Development Certificate. Graduates, with the appropriate faculty and college recommendations, and by the authority of the Idaho State Board of Education and the Idaho State Board for Career Technical Education, you are hereby conferred with a degree or certificate that you have earned. You are also granted the rights, honors, responsibilities, and privileges of your respective award. Congratulations. And now I will offer a few closing remarks. Well, this certainly isn't the graduation celebration any of us thought it would be three months ago. However, I promise these are times you will never forget. Historians will write about the resiliency of the class of 2020. The history books will detail how you all persevered through these strange times of COVID and graduated despite it all. Though things might seem uncertain as you move forward amidst the backdrop of the pandemic, I'd like to remind you of the words from author L.R. Nost. She writes, do not be dismayed by the brokenness of the world. All things break and all things can be mended, not with time as they say, but with intention. So graduates go, love intentionally, extravagantly, unconditionally. The broken world waits for the darkness, the broken world waits in the darkness for the light that is you. All of us as CEI salute your efforts and wish you courage as you navigate the next chapter of your life. We hope you will take what you learned in and out of the classroom at College of Eastern Idaho, take that light of yours and go change your corner of the world in some magnificent way. We at CEI are so very proud of your accomplishments in the face of these difficult circumstances and we thank you for choosing College of Eastern Idaho. On behalf of the entire faculty, staff, and administration, we wish you nothing but the very best in your next adventure. Welcome again, graduates, and we will now read the names for those graduating behind our Lexan shield so that we are socially distanced. Um, and so we do appreciate this, this opportunity now to read the graduates' names. Accounting Paraprofessional. Amy Michelle Isaraga, Associate of Applied Science and Accounting Paraprofessional. Business Management. Whitney Kate Kerna, Intermediate Technical Certificate in Business Management graduating with honors. Maria M. Funk, Associate of Applied Science in Marketing and Management. Heidi Funnel. Associate of Applied Science and Business Management graduating with high honors. Jasmine J. Hayes, Intermediate Technical Certificate in Business Management. Margarita Montoya Lopez, Intermediate Technical Certificate in Business Management. Tambri Killian, Intermediate Technical Certificate in Business Management, graduating with high honors. Computer Networking Technologies. Casey D. Anderson, Associate of Applied Science in Computer Networking Technologies, graduating with honors. Kimberly Mis Mitsuyo Bishop, Associate of Applied Science in Computer Networking Technologies, graduating with high honors. Shanna R. Glover, 
Intermediate Technical Certificate in Computer Networking Technologies. Tyler Hernandez, Associate of Applied Science in Computer Networking Technologies, graduating with high honors. Ariana Marie Lampe, Associate of Applied Science in Computer Networking Technologies, graduating with honors. Bowen Moser, Associate of Applied Science in Computer Networking Technologies. Hunter Waite, Intermediate Technical Certificate in Computer Networking Technologies, graduating with high honors. Dental Assisting. Rebecca A. Johnson, Intermediate Technical Certificate in Dental Assisting, graduating with honors. Diana C. Larkin, Intermediate Technical Certificate in Dental Assisting. Alexis C. Olson, Intermediate Technical Certificate in Dental Assisting. Anieli Ortiz, Intermediate Technical Certificate in Dental Assisting. Amy Marie Waite, Intermediate Technical Certificate in Dental Assisting, graduating with high honors. Energy Systems Technology. Michael D. Meissner, Intermediate Technical Certificate in Energy Systems Technology, graduating with honors. Sven Olson, Intermediate Technical Certificate in Energy Systems Technology, graduating with high honors. General Studies. Chelsea J. Anderson, Associate of Arts in General Studies, graduating with high honors. Natasha Nicole RV, Associate of Science in General Studies, graduating with high honors. Benjamin N. Benson, Associate of Arts in General Studies, graduating with honors. Brandon Vilas, Associate of Arts in General Studies, graduating with honors. Scott A. Brown, Associate of Science in General Studies, graduating with high honors. Isaac E. Evans, Associate of Arts in General Studies, graduating with honors. Adrian Garcia, Associate of Science in General Studies. Amber Lane Hart, Associate of Science in General Studies, graduating with honors. Zachary A. Makish, Associate of Arts in General Studies. It's a mystery, Jacinda J. Moreau, Associate of Arts in General Studies, graduating with honors, veteran of the United States Air Force. There will be Marisa Lania Nunez, Associate of Arts in General Studies. Dylan Ray Park, Associate of Science in General Studies, graduating with high honors. Caden Pickett, Associate of Arts in General Studies. Nathan D. Pollard, Associate of Science in General Studies, active in the United States Army. Lily Ann Ponce Zinil, Associate of Arts in General Studies, graduating with high honors. Emily Shaw, Associate of Arts in General Studies, graduating with high honors. Caitlin Smith, Associate of Arts in General Studies. Melissa Ann Sudwicks, Associate of Arts and General Studies, graduating with high honors. Jacqueline Rain Sugai, Associate of Science and General Studies, graduating with honors. Samantha Elizabeth Twitchell, Associate of Arts and General Studies. Kendra L. Vollmer, Associate of Science and General Studies. Information Assurance and Cybersecurity. Matthew Mark Gardels, Associate of Applied Science in Information Assurance and Cybersecurity, graduating with honors. Richard Kenneth Knowles, Associate of Applied Science in Information Assurance and Cybersecurity, graduating with high honors. Samuel Anthony Kudla, Associate of Applied Science in Information Assurance and Cybersecurity, graduating with honors. Legal Assistant. Isaac C. Hansen, Associate of Applied Science and Legal Assistant. Constancio Juan Huiz, Associate of Applied Science and Legal Assistant. Rudy L. Singer, Associate of Applied Science and Legal Assistant, graduate, graduating with honors. Machine Tool Technology. Jared Kramer, Associate of Applied Science and Machine Tool Technology. Riley Olson. Associate of Applied Science in Machine Tool Technology. 
Mechanical Trades. Austin Cahoon, Advanced Technical Certificate in Automotive Technology, graduating with honors. Colby Coffey, Advanced Technical Certificate in Diesel Technology. Jasmine Hardy, Advanced Technical Certificate in Light Duty Diesel. Caleb Joseph Hess, Advanced Technical Certificate in Light Duty Diesel. Craig J. Marino, Advanced Technical Certificate in Diesel Technology, graduating with high honors. Medical Assisting. Mafi Joy Castor Quigg, Associate of Applied Science in Medical Assisting, Associate of Arts, and Associate of Science in General Studies, graduating with honors. We just need to pause for that one for a moment. That was intense. Congratulations. <laughs> That's like, what, six degrees? <laughs> Stacia Evans, Associate of Applied Science in Medical Assisting. Heather M. Haroldson, Associate of Applied Science in Medical Assisting. Elisa A. Hicks, Associate of Applied Science in Medical Assisting. Indy B. Howell, Associate of Applied Science in Medical Assisting, graduating with honors. Patricia M. Nelson, Associate of Applied Science in Medical Assisting, graduating with honors. J.C. Lynn Turner uh, Nevarez, Associate of Applied Science in Medical Assisting. Emma Paulson, Associate of Applied Science in Medical Assisting. Practical Nursing. Michelle Denise Aldrich, Intermediate Technical Certificate in Practical Nursing. Lee Malin Clark. Intermediate Technical Certificate in Practical Nursing and Associate of Science in General Studies. Alisa R. Falter, Intermediate Technical Certificate in Practical Nursing. Mackenzie J. Landon, Intermediate Technical Certificate in Practical Nursing. Shailen K. Monson, Intermediate Technical Certificate in Practical Nursing, graduating with honors. Kelsey J. Pearson, Intermediate Technical Certificate in Practical Nursing. Nicole Worrell, Intermediate Technical Certificate in Practical Nursing. Katie Wright, Intermediate Technical Certificate in Practical Nursing. Radiation Safety. Cade Britton Barrett, Intermediate Technical Certificate in Radiation Safety. Mackenzie May Bryant, Intermediate Technical Certificate in Radiation Safety, graduating with honors. Braden Darrell Leaf, Intermediate Technical Certificate in Radiation Safety, graduating with high honors. Nicole Yavona Mertz, Intermediate Technical Certificate in Radiation Safety, graduating with high honors. Tessa M. Sherwood, Intermediate Technical Certificate in Radiation Safety. Braden M. Young, Intermediate Technical Certificate in Radiation Safety, graduating with high honors. Registered Nursing. Hannah Buell. Associate of Applied Science in Registered Nursing, graduating with honors. Tally J. Chamberlain, Associate of Applied Science in Registered Nursing. Alicia Don Cornelius, Associate of Applied Science in Registered Nursing. Veronica Corral, Associate of Applied Science in Registered Nursing. Brittany Ann Kirton, Associate of Applied Science in Registered Nursing. Connie Fraser, Associate of Applied Science in Registered Nursing, graduating with high honors. Alex K. Gibbons, Associate of Applied Science in Registered Nursing. Brittany Marie Hausheim, Associate of Applied Science in Registered Nursing, graduating with high honors. Jaron Neal Hershey, Associate of Applied Science in Registered Nursing, graduating with high honors. Shelby Francis Howe, Associate of Applied Science in Registered Nursing. Brighton N. Humphreys, Associate of Applied Science in Registered Nursing, graduating with honors. Janelyn Jackson, Associate of Applied Science in Registered Nursing, graduating with honors. Devin M. Jardine, Associate of Applied Science in Registered Nursing, graduating with honors. Paige N. Loveland, Associate of Applied Science in Registered Nursing, graduating with honors. Haley J. Poole, Associate of Applied Science in Registered Nursing, graduating with high honors. Caitlin Jane Pulido, Associate of Applied Science in Registered Nursing. Madison Romrell, Associate of Applied Science in Registered Nursing, graduating with high honors. Whitney A. Chatromp, Associate of Applied Science in Registering Nurse, Registered Nursing, graduating with honors. Joanna Elizabeth Shively, Associate of Applied Science in Registered Nursing, 
graduating with high honors. Jennifer L. Smith, Associate of Applied Science in Registered Nursing, graduating with high honors. Clarissa Ashland Stocking, Associate of Applied Science in Registered Nursing, graduating with honors. Claire R. Wilder, Associate of Applied Science in Registered Nursing, graduating with honors. Jennifer L. Wood Ze, Associate of Applied Science in Registered Nursing. Surgical Technology. Kristen Rigby Easton, Associate of Applied Science in Surgical Technology, graduating with honors. Cassandra Furness, Associate of Applied Science in Surgical Technology, graduating with honors. Ali Gull, Associate of Applied Science in Surgical Technology, graduating with high honors. Allison J. Jolly, Associate of Applied Science in Surgical Technology. Nicole M. Overfield, Associate of Applied Science in Surgical Technology. Marissa J. Pershone, Associate of Applied Science in Surgical Technology. Morgan L. Schmidt, Associate of Applied Science in Surgical Technology, graduating with high honors. Brendy May Whitworth, Associate of Applied Science in Surgical Technology, graduating with honors. Web and Application Development. David Nicholas Allison, Associate of Applied Science in Web and Application Development, graduating with honors. Perry Conrico, Associate of Applied Science in Web and Application Development, graduating with honors. Zane O. White, Associate of Applied Science in Web and Application Development. Welding Technology. Guadalupe A. Lozano, Associate of Applied Science in Welding Technology. Kayan Veronovich, Associate of Applied Science in Welding Technology. Thank you so much, graduates, for paying attention and, to, and la- listening to us go through that wonderful long list of names. We're so grateful for you, and you've done such a wonderful job. Thanks so much to the campus community and to the wider community for tuning into our wonderful virtual graduation celebration. Let's give some huge congratulations from Evan, myself, <laughs> and Frankie the Falcon. Go, Frankie. Go, Frankie. <laughs> you can turn your tassels. You can throw your hats in the air. You can do whatever you want. But congratulations, College of Eastern Idaho, class of 2020. Have a great night. Thanks for tuning in.